These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power, now hosting Project Fitness Media. We got a really great PS2 tutorial today. In a previous video, I showed you guys using a FAT PS2 how to install FHDB to a FAT PS2 that has a network adapter with an internal hard drive. And what that does, it allows you to launch homebrew content from the hard drive of the FAT PS2. But let's say that you want to make your own FMCB free McBoot memory card as a backup or to give to another sibling or to a friend or whatever. So today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use FHDB to create a FMCB memory card. So let's do this. In the more info section, I have a link where you can download the newbie package for the 1.94 zip file. What you want to do is download it and extract it to the root of a FAT32 thumb drive like I have here, for example. So let's go ahead and let's turn on the PS2. All right. So let's increase the volume a little bit here. The hard drive is spinning. Takes a while, but in a moment we'll have the FHDB load up. All right, here we go, free HD boot. So what you want to do at this point in time is go ahead, plug in your memory card, plug in your USB thumb drive. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here's the memory card. And then here's the USB thumb drive. It doesn't matter what port you, you take. I'm doing the bottom port, if you guys are curious. Let's go back to the TV. Okay, so now we go down to you launch ALF HDD, press X. Okay, at this point, what you want to do is you could press uh, circle. I'm going to go down to mass, press circle. Oh, sorry, press X. And here, you'll see that originally I downloaded a .zip file. I extract it to its own folder, fmcv1.94 underscore NP. So go ahead to that folder, press X. Now at this point, go down to fmcbinstaller.elf, press X, and then you're good to go. Now it's going to take you into the FMCB installer menu screen. At this point, what you want to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to format my memory card. So I'm going to format memory card, uh, press circle, and then press down to go yes, press circle, and it's going to format the memory card in slot one. Now it's done, so press OK or circle. Now go to multi-install, circle, go down to say yes and press circle. And now it's going to go ahead and install FMCB to the slot one memory card. And then by default, this newbie package comes with like some basic programs. If you don't like those programs or you want to update those programs or install new programs, see the more info section. I have a link to, an, to a different PS2 video that I have that shows you how to add more programs to your FMCB memory card. And then once this FMCB installation is process is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the PS2, and since I have the memory card, it's going to boot off the memory card first instead of the hard drive. But if I take out the memory card, then if I restart the PS2, it's going to boot off the hard drive instead. So that's the priority order, so to speak. So now we're at 77%, we're almost there to 100%, and we're ready to have a lot of good times. Uh, just in case you guys are curious, if you ch check out the YouTube channel, there is a PS2 playlist. So if you want to learn more about your PS2, Fat or Slim, how to mod it, how to do other cool things with your PS2, by all means, remember to check out that PS2 playlist. All right, inf installation completed. Press OK. And then I can go down to exit here, exit the program, and we're good to go. So now, at this point in time, you can let the PS2 reboot. It's going to go back to the browser. I'm just going to restart the PS2. Now we go back to the TV. And there you go. Free McBoot 1.94. Here's all the default programs it comes with. Like I said, if you want to edit the program and stuff like that, you can go to Free McBoot Configurator. And then what you want to do here as a real quick uh, refresh here, what you do in this particular program is where you can map your new files that you have on your memory card 
or maybe on a USB or a hard drive or whatever. So I'm going to press circle here. Here you can configure the OS D sys options, press circle, go over here, scroll to the right. You know, here you can enter in a new entry. You tell where your program is located, and then once you're done, you go back to return here, and you click on save, and you're good to go. So that is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.